Here we have a double-stranded piece of DNA, simplified to two lines. Let's imagine that a double-strand break occurs in this segment of DNA. How is this prepared? Firstly, an exonuclease creates single-stranded segments by 5' to 3' degradation. For the DNA to be replicated, we need the complementary DNA, in this case provided by the homologous chromosome. With the assistance of RAD51 mediator proteins, strand invasion and second end capture occur to allow for DNA replication. An intermediate structure is formed, known as a double holiday junction. This intermediate then undergoes either dissolution or resolution depending on the proteins involved. The names used here, SGS1 and YEN1, are the homologues that exist in Baker's yeast. SGS1 is responsible for dissolution of the intermediate. It twists the DNA to form non-crossover products. YEN1 is responsible for resolution of the intermediate. It cuts the DNA, which produces one of two results. In one instance, crossover products may be formed. In another instance, non-crossover products may be formed.